Hello friend, welcome. This is our Java chess game developed using Eclipse. So in the last video, we add two but we arranged two buttons, right? Listen and connect um, for socket com communication between two instances of this app. And uh, in this video, let's play with socket server because we need a server to get ready there so the client can connect to it. So it doesn't make sense to create, uh, to implement this button first. We have to implement this button first. Listen, okay. And uh, so let's go sl get started here. Where is our button logic? Here, right? We'll put our code here server button and listen okay so to create um let's put all our socket code inside something called a try with resources block so it's like try try catch and uh, we don't need that so just try something and uh, like that. So what do we try? We try to create our listener. So wah listener new server socket. Okay, so we'll specify a pod. And uh, for our purpose, any pod, right? We don't, for example, the famous uh, pod 80 is used by HTTP, right? And HTTPS is using 443, okay? So we'll use something not used by like other apps. Um, basically by the standard, um, there's a big range which is available for our like an arbitrary purpose. And uh, it's easy to memorize, like from fifty thousand to sixty thousand, they are free. So let's just use this one. Um, fifty thousand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, what does he complain? And. Uh, Add catch, okay. Add catch. We need to catch. We'll ignore that, or just output the e one iOS exception. Yeah, if it fails, then it will print out the something here. So after we have the listener, we can show it, right? Listener. Oh no. S y s o. This out. So our server um, is listening to port 50,000, okay? Now the server will keep uh, an infinite loop and blocking at the listening. So we we'll use while true. Yeah, here is another try and uh, catch. Oh, let's add the catch later. So try um, something. The listener will do accepting okay so wow uh, here whenever it uh, accept a connection we'll get a socket from listener so accept this is a blocking call it will wait the server will right be waiting there for a connection requirement so now if we do have the uh, socket created then we can output something let's use a print writer 
here. Uh, yeah, output string. Okay, so we can use the socket dot get output string, and uh, we can specify flash. Flash means we'll flash the buffer and uh, output immediately. So um, now we can use this one to print out. To print out something what is something here let's pretend we have a game move okay to send to the other side so a game move is like from zero zero no let's make for example we are sending out this move okay from zero one to zero two yeah so something like from zero one to zero two. That's a a move, right? Again, move made on one of the player, one of the players. Okay. So how can we test it? Uh, but first of all, let, let's run it. So we should be able to see the message, right? Like that server is listening to port 50,000. Now quit and run it. Let's bring up the, our console here. Now if we click the button listen, right, we should be able to see that thing. Uh, server is listening. This is click. Okay, so let's get rid of uh, the noise listen yeah we don't need that now service listening where is the listen for we also print out the oh here this guy delete that and try it again um q okay now let's run again and if we click the button here, we, we saw that, right? Server is listening to that port. How can we make sure it is, there is a server running there, we can use terminal command uh, to detect that. Okay, so our terminal is, mm -hmm. this is our terminal, and make it smaller. Like that and put it here make it smaller okay so now what can we do here we can use mat state mat stat dash a n to grab the this part okay um is not long enough yeah so that we can put it here so this means there is uh, a process running and uh, listening on this port okay so how can we get the output of our server like this one so whoever connected to this right connected to this um socket can get this output we we have a tool command line tool called nc so nc is the ip address or <laughs> the the address address of this process is localhost and the port is this one let's give it a try yeah it's like magic right so we get this output from this guy from this guy our chess game and then this is another app right okay if you are not 100 percent sure <laughs> let's change another to a let's change it to another move okay so this is a power move so we can move to like that 
okay unfortunately for now we have to restart our do we need to restart yeah of course we modify the code we have to restart our app now listen and uh, connect again like that we should be able to see right from zero one to hmm? zero one to zero two oh yeah actually let's see Ta -da! it works right so it means our socket server is running okay and you see there's a problem here this guy this guy keeps the color right blue it's not like this one oh we cannot make a move here you see it's stuck we'll fix this in our next video the reason is we we didn't create an independent thread to run this code so it blocks the ui code so we are using the ui thread to do the network thing that's bad okay thank you for watching see you next time